What's up everyone? Uh, it's Chris Camosi here. I'm gonna start putting together some uh, vlogs for you, try to put out a little bit more content. Um, I always feel like I never have time to, to video enough stuff, so looks like we're gonna video here in the car. Don't worry, hands-free camera. Um, let's see, so, you know, one thing my coaches and I have talked about throughout my career, or looking back on my career, is um, some issues that I've always had seem to be the same problems. You know, these, these guys come in, they look to take me down, and then I, I'm kind of stuck there. And, uh, you know, I've been doing jiu-jitsu a long time. I'm a brown belt, but it, it's never, it's never translated over to MMA for me as well. Um, so there's a few adjustments I needed to make there. You know, when, I, when I'm just straight grappling, I feel great. Um, you know, I, I feel good in there. But in MMA, for some reason, all I'm thinking is uh, hit the guy as much as I can. And I think that I lose focus on uh, position, control, attacking submissions because I get so focused on wanting to hit the guy. And I'm sure there's plenty of you out there that have had the same issue. So... Uh, a few things that we've changed with my training since my last fight is uh, one I started working with Daryl Christensen who uh, if you haven't heard of him he's probably one of the best wrestling coaches for MMA in the world uh, he was on the World Greco team uh, he's worked with guys like Dominic Cruz uh, Rashad Evans he's working with Jeremy Stevens now um, him and Jeremy came out here they did a little uh, clinic here at the gym and I've known Daryl a long time and I finally decided to uh, to kind of connect with him and have him as my coach. It's gonna take a little bit of work on our part because he doesn't live here in Denver, but there's a lot of a lot of things that we can do without him being here, like through video and, and technology nowadays is, is crazy. So um, that being said, you know, he comes here plenty for work and uh, I'm able to get work in with him and then I'll probably be traveling to California here and there to work with him as well. But uh, I think he's definitely worth um, making these adjustments and then the other huge huge part that I've added to my camp is um, Mario Busy Correa he's a jiu-jitsu coach he comes from Gracie Baja I'm actually heading to his gym right now him and my coach Mark at Factory X have been friends for a long time and, uh, and, and Busy's a great coach and I finally decided that I needed to kind of seek out a little bit more work on the ground and so we've been doing a lot of gi stuff a lot of no gi stuff um, but just rounding out my game and, and getting a lot more work in on the ground. You know, I went from doing jiu-jitsu twice a week to almost five days a week now. And uh, same with wrestling, you know, I upped the amount of wrestling. And it's just taking a little bit of work on my time, but honestly, it made me fall back in love with, with doing jiu-jitsu and, and fall back in love with wrestling again. I grew up wrestling. I started wrestling before I started any of this, and I felt like I, I got away from it. And... Um, became more of a striker and part of that was that I think in my head I kind of hated going to wrestling after a while wrestling is the hardest thing out there I don't care how in shape you are wrestling kills you and uh, you know I, I just really had to change my mentality and tell myself that I love wrestling that I love jiu-jitsu rather than in my head thinking oh this sucks I really don't want to go I just try to have a positive attitude going in and I feel like that's that's been helping me a lot and uh, I actually enjoy going and doing these practices now. And uh, don't get me wrong, I'm still keeping up with my striking, but these these two uh, additions I think are gonna be huge. I feel like I built the the dream team of coaches now. You know, Mark Montoya at Factory X has been my coach for a long time for striking. And uh, obviously, you know, I've never had any issues there. You look at all my fights, I outstrike everybody. Um, maybe I've had one fight where I didn't, but I've never had any issues there, but it's just putting it all together and connecting it. And <clears throat> these these three coaches that I have together now um, aren't just random guys that I found either. You, you know, they're all friends. They get along, and uh, that that just makes it easier as a team to to work. And now they can connect with each other, and they can all talk about my training and, and figure out what I need to do. Maybe I need to pull back on something. Maybe I'm overworking here, and. Uh, that's been huge for me so as cliche as it sounds I think my next fight you know hopefully coming up here in the next few months um, you're gonna see a whole new fighter I've, I've really really put in the work to to better my game and not just keep doing the same shit over and over again but to, to become a better more well-rounded fighter 
and uh, I'm excited to mix it up. I mean, you're going to see me go for takedowns. You're going to see me go for submissions, uh, not just try to knock people's heads off. And uh, as soon as I can start piecing it all together, um, like smoothly, I think, you know, it's going to take my career to a whole new level. Um, I'm about to busies now, so I'm going to have to, to check off with you guys. But just keeping up with you, I, I should be putting out at least weekly videos now. So uh, hope you watch.